Hey friends, shall we meditate together? Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> I have been asked so many times to create a meditation that is available for everyone to use on Instagram. And although I have a lot of audio tracks that I can send you, I don't really have any visual tracks. So I'm hoping that this is something that you can use again and again and again, and that it serves you in times when you need to remember how to come back in, come back into your heart. So to begin with, you can find a comfortable position we want to have both sitting bones on the ground firmly. It doesn't really matter if you're sitting cross-legged or if you've got your legs folded under you or even if you're sitting on a chair, that is totally fine. You can even be lying down if you need. And so the next 20 minutes we're going to spend together meditating. First, a couple of things. You're here for the full 20 minutes, which means that there's nowhere else to go and nothing else to do. And everything on your task list or to-do list is still gonna be there when you leave this meditation. So if anything does come up for you whilst you're sitting, just know that that's what's meant to happen. You know, like there are going to be times where you feel that you need to get up or that you need to action something or that it needs to be done now. This is almost part of it, right? Um, if you're a seasoned meditation practitioner, that may not be your experience, but I most certainly have known that at the beginning of my practice, even when I haven't been practicing for a while and I get back into it, there are these moments where I feel like I need to just stop and get up and go do the thing. But what really helps me through those times is knowing that right now, this is my time to be with source, with self, with peace, equanimity. And then afterwards, I can go and do whatever I need to do, firstly. Secondly, your brain is going to think thoughts. Its job is to think thoughts. So just like your heart, is there and its job is to beat and your lungs are here and their jobs to breathe for you your brain's gonna think so to consider or to even expect that your brain is not gonna think thoughts is equivalent to your heart not beating or your lungs not breathing and so with that knowledge know that you're going to think thoughts and that's normal and it's not about stopping the thoughts it's about channeling and focusing the thoughts to something which brings me to point number three for today's meditation we're going to do the jiva mukti method of meditation which is to focus on a mantra and so the mantra is let go Every time you breathe in, you say silently to yourself, let. And every time you breathe out, you say silently to yourself, go. Let go. Let go. And you're not manipulating the breath in this particular meditation. You're not trying to slow or deepen the breath. You're, you are simply witnessing the breath. So you're watching it. You're allowing it to just do its thing and you're just watching what it does. And every time you breathe in, you tag that part of the breath with let. And every time you breathe out, you tag that part of the breath with the word go. So sometimes you'll notice that the breath is really slow and deep. And so the let and the go, those two words are really far apart. But there are gonna be other times where the breath is quite quick and choppy. And so the let go, will happen more frequently. There is no wrong, there is no right, it just is. And so if you can resign to the fact that there's anything to do, anything to manipulate, any achievement to achieve for the next 15 minutes, then 
you could just be in that space of letting go. Let's begin. Choose your seat, a seat that you're not going to be disturbed and that you're not going to move from. Close your eyes. Be still. And try and allow the body to be long and tall. And that's to say that the spine is lengthened. So you feel like the crown of the head is reaching up. The chin is slightly tucked to allow the back of the neck to lengthen. It's almost like you're pulling the occiput bone, the bones that are right here at the base of the skull, skull, that you're pulling them up, really lengthening through the spine. And then just notice if you're jutting your pelvis back and your ribs forward. And if that's the case, just draw yourself back into alignment. A really soft face, soft belly. Maybe your jaw needs to relax a bit, parting the lips, parting the teeth, and then close the mouth, breathing in and out through the nose only. This is us for the next 13 minutes. Begin now with the mantra, let go. Watching and witnessing the breath. Tagging the in-breath with the word let. And the out breath with the word go. Let go. Every time you find your mind wandering without judgment, just bring it back to this focusing on the mantra, let go.
And with every let go that passes, you may even notice that your body relaxes and softens even more.
let go. We have five more minutes remaining. If you feel that you are holding tension anywhere in the body, perhaps breathing into that space, As we begin to bring the meditation to a close, before we do that, see if you can visualize yourself in a bubble of light. And this light radiates 360 degrees all around you. A bright white pearly color it's shimmering and glistening in all directions and you are in the center of that light being protected and cocooned by the light itself Can you bask in this light for the next five seconds?
Take a deep breath in through the nose and a long breath out the mouth. And then come back. Maybe you want to journal, writing out anything that came up for you throughout that meditation. It was just a short, brief meditation. Oh my gosh, I feel so good now. I hope you guys do too. Please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or if there's anything that I can support you with further. And be sure to send this along to any of your friends or family who you feel would greatly benefit from some guided meditation time. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye for now.